Hi, how are you? I'm Crystalline. Um, this is my first product unboxing video and um, I am unboxing my business and pleasure order today and um, I'm gonna tell you I've already opened this box. I'm very unhappy. So I don't have a good review for you today, but I have an honest review for you. Okay, so I bought um, the Tommy Chair, an antique white from Business and Pleasure, and it is very poor quality. Let's show you. First, the box is totally trash. Whether that's the shipping company or it was um came from uh the facility that way i don't know but box is trashed not for me definitely somewhere sorry for the weird angles okay so very easy to get out the design is really nice fabric is a little less to be lisa leaves you wanting more, basically. So, first, chair comes like this. It is very lightweight, very lightweight. Very easy to take out of the box and actually really easy to put on your back with the straps and somewhat comfortable. It does move around a little bit, but whatever. So undo the clasp, right? Open the box, open the chair. It is easy to open when you're not holding a cell phone. So that's the chair. It's kind of dirty. I don't know exactly what all this is. I guess it's um, from the box itself. Uh, a lot of the threads are frayed pretty much everywhere. The material is very lightweight and makes it easy to dry, which I appreciate, but it doesn't feel a luxury to me. And then the material for the wood is very rough. It's very rough right here, it's rough around the edges. It doesn't seem appealing to sit on for a long period of time when you're at the beach. Um, this handle, I'll show you here. This handle has like, some stains, a glue stain, I'm not sure what it is. I've tried contacting customer service and they completely ignored any of my complaints and basically just said that it comes as it is. So um, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more refined and actually looks like luxury, business and pleasure is not it. The chair, is great to sit on, great to open. Um, it does have its little pouch in the back, but um, it's like a, a tight opening, so it's difficult to like put things in. And then um, there's just a lot of markings on the wood. Like it's not, it's all discolored in certain areas. I'm not sure if you can see that from this video. Um, just all around very un, just very disappointed and unhappy with it. Um, for the price, I was hoping that it would be a little bit more luxury. Um, feels like something I could have gotten at Walmart for cheaper. So that's the chair. Ooh. My other problem with um, my order was I ordered towels and they arrived in the wrong color and then I got an umbrella and I got the the beach blanket the beach blanket looks okay um it's like a terry cloth still doesn't like scream luxury to me the stitching is bad especially in the towels and they're not cheap it's just really like if you're gonna pay eighty dollars for a towel it should be immaculate. It should look like a restoration hardware towel. 
no complaints and you just feel loved by that towel and that's the way it should be. Okay. Umbrella box. Also trashed by shipping or they shipped it that way, I really don't know. But completely trashed. Okay, so put this together. Despite the box being trash, it wasn't in bad shape. The umbrella comes in like a nice carry pouch. Again, easy to um, easy to dry, very lightweight. Here's the umbrella. This umbrella has a few like dirty markings on it. Um, they're a little faded. Looks like somebody maybe rubbed it out. Um, it's in two different spots. This is very easy to use. Um, I'm not convinced the handle is made of real wood. It has like a weird lacquer on it that um, is missing in parts. Um, the tassels are nylon. Again, just doesn't feel luxury. It does open very easily. Very lightweight, has that little screw at the bottom, but I don't think the screws are long enough, wide enough to really grab into the sand. Like if you check out the beacher, the, I don't know how to describe it. The screw part, it's actually much longer so that when you, you pulled up, it wouldn't be easy, easy to remove from the sand. Um, and then there's the handle and it has a very high sheen to it and then it has this marking and it just feels cheap. Fabric feels cheap. It doesn't feel like I want to go to the beach with this and be like, I spent um, $300 on an umbrella. Like, this feels like I could have gotten something better at Walmart for like 20 bucks, 40 bucks, how much ever they are. But this is, no, no bueno. Um, yeah, so those are my complaints. I really wish it had gone um, better. I really have been admiring this company for a long time and I really wanted uh, these items and to complete my beach dreams and just go out there and tan and relax in the sand, but not the way to go for me. So I hope you got something out of this video. I'm sorry for all the funny angles. Um, but yeah, have a good day. Bye.